here at Carlos Ray Elementary in Albuquerque, Mexico, we are getting the kids exposed to the STEM project. Uh, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Math. One of our projects that we're working on uh, accumulated today to a high altitude balloon launch. I had the opportunity to see a high altitude balloon launch in Arizona. And I said, this is what our kids need. This is, this is project-based learning. This project today is what we're calling a premier STEM community event. It's hands-on and there's real world applications. And so I think it makes it that much more meaningful for them. With this high altitude balloon launch, the kids were exposed to understanding the calculations of how much helium needed to be uh, put in the balloon so that it could lift the payload. We're going to have like a little payload which is triangle that's on the bottom. My class uh, built a payload and so they did have to do measuring and so they had to use the rollers to properly size the, the papers to fit in the payload. I said I, I want two students that are willing to be the leaders. Had two students come forward. We sat down and, and recreated step by step what needed to be done to create the payload. Then I turned it over to them. We were the teachers to help groups prepare the payload. They did a small group lesson, so every child in that class touched that payload. The payload had to be less than six pounds, so we have uh, various things on the payload, such as cameras. The size we have is a uh, nine by nine payload, so we need to have it a little smaller than the payload, so we have it four and a half inches by three inches. If we find it and bring it back down, well, we're gonna see how far it traveled, how high and how fast. Everything from measurement to uh, predictions of wind are studied and calculations are made. In Mr. Martinez's class, they actually were watching the weather predictions and tracking them and graphing it. If you, if you study a graph and you look at it in a textbook, it, it doesn't do anything, but these kids have mastered what it means to graph something because they've been watching the weather for the last week to see if we get to launch. Uh, it gives them, it takes them out of the normal mathematics, uh, which is multiplication, division. They still have to learn all those, but we also give them the hands-on approach to learning. It keeps them interested, you know, they're not just stuck in a book all the time or just doing paperwork. Today is incredible because teachers and kids are now curious. And the curiosity is the flame, it, it's the catalyst that is gonna, this is gonna roll with.